Hey folks, Rich Outfield here, talking about the remaining Cantina aliens. And this is one that I talked about his partner, partner in the package, but I didn't talk about him all that much. I'm going to talk about Dice Ibagon today. And this guy is, basically he's just a mouth. It was a puppet, a hand puppet that was, that was made... Uh, he's sitting opposite Lax Sivrak, and in the special edition, he's opposite Ketwal. And he's just like a mouth, a lamprey-looking thing. And um, they did put him out in the Legacy Collection. And remember, the Legacy Collection ones are the most valuable for some reason. And uh, he was in a two-pack with Trinto Duaba. But this is what he looks like. Can you see that? Um, in reality, he was just a puppet. He was just this part. Um, and they had to extrapolate what his body would look like. And so they decided that he's like a long snake with a bunch of arms. And each one of those arms were articulated where this figure It's not a bad figure. Sorry, there's not anything I can do about it. People are celebrating something. Um, oh, here's a better picture of him. Uh, this this is one that somebody was selling. It only went for nine ninety nine, but it's missing one of the arms. Is it missing two of the arms? No, just one. Uh, nine ninety nine plus four forty five shipping. That's not bad at all. I wouldn't care personally. If I had one without an arm, uh, if you know a place to get Trinto Duaba and Dice Ibagon, uh, not for an obscene amount, uh, maybe I'll scoop them up. Um, I remember that there's a, an anecdote about. Here, let's let's look in. Let's let's be in the dark together. There's this anecdote that uh, Rick Baker had designed this thing, and. Uh, they had put like some kind of yogurt type stuff in its mouth so that it would be like dripping uh, just to make it more visceral or more disgusting, something like that. Uh, it might not even have been uh, pink. It might have been red and it looked just like blood on the set. And Lucas was like, no, now get rid of all that. And so they had to clean it up and do it again. That's all I know about that thing. Like I said, it was just a puppet. that was just this, this much of the puppet. Um, and, uh, a lot of these guys, a lot of the aliens were only constructed to be used for a split second for a certain angle. And they didn't have full bodies. They weren't, uh, able to do anything. A lot of them couldn't blink or open or close their mouths. Um, a lot of them just would have whatever they had on the set thrown over them, whether it was like a Jabba, Jawa cloak or uh, a jacket that another character had worn. It was something that they were trying to do to make it look like there were more aliens than there were. And um, it worked because it seems like everywhere you look in the cantina, there's something you've never seen before. And uh, it's just amazing. It's 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 rewatch value is through the roof. I recognize that these videos are not, but I appreciate you watching it with me. Your droids. We don't serve their kind. <laughs>